Hi, I'm Celine and I am live on Simple TV. All right, my name is Celine Favor Karayolo Kabwe and I am partly Gambian and partly Nigerian. I am the convener of Bright Quest Agency. All right, the Bright Quest Agency is um, a talent discovery agency for kids and teenagers. All right, um, we go out there and discover talents, talented kids, kids with potential, and train them in modeling, dancing, arts, sports, and um, every other talent activity. Okay, um, I'll say it's my love for kids and growing up, my experience. I wasn't a super talented child, but um, I was kind of talented, but I didn't have the platform to showcase what I wanted to do. I didn't have someone to boost my confidence. So growing up, I had this passion like, I wanted to do this for kids, okay? And then along the line, I, by the way, I was a class teacher for a couple of years and I had encounters with various kids. And there's this particular boy that struck my heart. So there's this morning I woke up and went to school. Then I met the child at school. He was really down. So in the middle of getting him to um, cheering up, actually, I asked the whole class to tell me what they want to become when they grow up. Then I got to this young, uh, this young man. And then he was like, he wants to become... A gangster I was like whoa why he said he has seen his older uncle harass a lady and I had so many mixed feelings in my head like at that point I was thinking what is this child going to be become when he grows up then I dig deeper I got to speak with his mom I noticed he he spends his day with his grandma in a very very um, not so conducive environment for kids i spoke with the mom and then the mom changed the area they were living and she started living with his mom um i think two years down the line i met this young man again and i asked him what do you want to become when you grow up then he was like i want to become a doctor i had this thing in my head like okay um for this child to change to think to um, stop thinking the way he was thinking before and now he wants to be someone better the environment and people he mingled with matters and then i took it up to myself that i was going to meet kids ask them train them at least what i didn't get when i was growing up i could actually give it to children and teenagers out there and again i have another flair for younger human i don't know i feel like a superhero and i just feel like a mother hand around people that are much older than which are probably kids and teenagers so i feel like i owe them this protection so that was it for me okay um talented kids all right i'll say they're always curious it's the curiosity for me. I'm always watching out for kids that are curious, kids that wants to do or say whatever they want to do or say confidently. And then it doesn't stop there. There are kids that are actually curious in a negative way. So the positive way, when we get to see kids like that, we follow them up and then we groom them. Okay, um, this is where this comes in here. Yeah. We have some kids that are born talented and we have some kids that are groomed up to a certain um, potential that maybe the parents want them to attain or a certain status their parents want them to um, attain when they grow up. So what we do for such kid, maybe the child is a little bit withdrawn or shy. What we do is we set a pace, let the child flow and then 
if the child is willing to come out of his or her shell then i think it's a way it's a headway that's the first start like giving them a, um, a pace and secondly let them be independent try to give them responsibility and make them make them feel worthy you know um shyness in a way is um is a trait of of um, low self-esteem so give them this um platform to let them know that well you are a shining star so go out there do you by the time they are done with all those processes trust me your child will come out as a very smart and um open child Well, I've had tons of experiences, especially when we're in camps, you get to see different types of behaviors, like you have a bunch of kids. And at that point, I feel like, oh, this is where the mother hand um, duties come comes in. Like you have different kids with different attitudes. You have to like, um, oh, I don't even know how to say it, but the challenges are numerous because when you bring different kids from different backgrounds, you don't know how party A have trained their kids, you don't know how party B, and you are at the center as, as, as um, an agent or let's say a guide. And then you tend to like try to curb down what they, they've learned at home that is negative. It's really, really challenging. It's really challenging, but like I said, um, encouraging them, letting them know that you, we are trying to put you at the right path and then doing this you need to show them love you need to because at the end of the day if you don't they will lose interest and that's the end of a child probably this child is a talented child and if you don't um show this child that you can be better you can be better and i'm trying to i try i'm trying my best for you to be better i think those are challenges that I face personally working with kids in my niche. Well, for my niche, I think the society, the society, because the society has, um, they have a mentality that training kids um, into modeling is, um, they have a negative um, mentality about it. You know, they think um, they're definitely they are going to open up their body and then uh, probably at the end of the day, they are going to end up um, working as um, well, I don't want to really say, but they just have negative um, impression about it all. And it's not really so it's not really so um, it's it's a profession that I believe it's open it's open and it's beautiful it gives you this um energy to flow it makes you feel that yes i am doing me so i think those are the challenges those are the main challenges the society not trying to accept um the pageantry or the the runway modeling um as something that will actually benefit um, kids in my niche as something that will benefit them in the long run anyways. It's a very fast rising industry because I've seen um, people higher than me. I've seen what they've done uh, in, in recent um, times. I've seen what they've done. I see it going international. Trust me, I see it going international. We are developing the, the, the Western standards. I see teenagers being open. I see ch teenagers um, ready to venture into this. I see kids um, um, after their, their secondary school education wanted to, wanting to, to study fashion and all that. So I think it's a fast rising um, um, industry in Nigeria. Sensitization is what I would do to change the mentality. Change the mentality because the mentality is our biggest problem. The mentality people have about the um, industry. If I have the opportunity, I think I will go in to sensitize people to let them know that, okay, there is um, nothing much in this and what you think it's a is a negative effect or a negative um 
it will turn out as a negative scenario for a child no 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 you can actually build this and have something wonderful at the end of it all whoa um they're always happy like we have our trainings um every weekend you see they're always anticipating to come for trainings because like for the teenagers for the teenagers i like i vibe with them one on one so not just on their talent level their personal life i tend to like go down to their level and we talk and i tend to know what's up with them so they are always anticipating to be um, around the agency not just around me around the team and all that because everybody has one goal and the goal is to um, work on these kids talent wise even mentally and then op give them opportunity to open up to us give them I've had scenarios where teenagers will open up to me and be like oh there's a there's a boy I like and then you just have to that is a very tough question having to deal with that with a teenager <sighs> be like okay it's okay to love it to like a boy but it's not okay to have a boyfriend a relationship right now because what i used to tell them is when you love this boy now in three years time you're going to be a very beautiful girl and trust me you're going to look like me maybe more prettier than me with everything and then you look at this guy still going to be short and then he will be um trying to go to the university or so and you look at yourself in three years time be like it's not my spec so definitely it's not your spec right now i know you like him but we are not doing boys right now we're doing talents we're doing modeling so this is a way i tend to like curb them from such things whenever they come to me oh we beg we explain we visit we give gifts especially when the child is talented you do all you have to do because it's a passion for me it's not just for what's in in um, it at the end but it's like if i have to fail a child it's feel it's what i feel is i failed myself because i look at all of them like this is the younger me and the parent doesn't understand and be like oh is this child going to be in years to come is this child going to be like me no 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 no. i'm not doing that i'm still working on this child at all costs so we do whatever it has to we have to do we beg we give gifts <laughs> it's crazy but we have to do whatever we have to do to keep a talented child to get to his or her destination okay please please and please if you're a parent watching this and you have a child that is talented do whatever you have to do to groom this child because a wasted talent man i don't even know how to say this but a wasted child talent is one thing that can break my heart like especially in kids so if you're a parent out there and you have a child that is curious and is talented in one thing or the other it's it's not necessarily a modeling can have a child that's a drummer can have a child that can um draw you can have a child that sings you know i've seen a child that um that how do they call it? is it acrobatic yeah she does acrobatic uh, and she was so small like she had to flip her leg like and i was like whoa this is talent so if you have a child like that you have to signify and then groom this child don't let the talent go to waste whoa i do ah oh, i love kids i love kids you know my friends will tell me that i'm foolish to watch cartoon but i'm not ashamed like i love it because i feel like kids like i just i just love these little humans like i feel I have a responsibility to train them to be better adults. Okay, I run an educational brand and we sell educational tablets. We have an educational application and we install the tablets and yeah. And also I'm planning on starting an NGO for kids on the streets. 
yeah we need to reach out to kids in the streets they need us and it's time we go out there and do this for them um if you don't have a parent or a guardian that is supportive you could have an auntie an uncle there's a way you can reach out to our agency we're here to help we will find a way to put things together for you but nothing should stop you if you're a child out there and you're talented nothing to stop no, nothing should stop you just know that yes you can do it you can be whatever you want to be yes you can <laughs>